my dear god's people welcome to this reflection the key theme of this reflection is humility and openness to all especially to the poor and the lowly the first reading from the book of sirak or ecclesiasticus teaches on the virtue of humility specifically that it incurs favor with human beings and god the author observes that those who become great who grow to be great especially those who are in authority ought to be more humble because god loves and honors the humble people towards the end of the reading there is a short exhortation to give alms to the needy and the poor this theme is spoken of with much more emphasis in the gospel passage this section of the gospel is unique to saint luke although the theme is not jesus was invited for a meal by one of the leading pharisees and while at table jesus noticed how the guests were attempting to seize the seats of honor and in contrast immediately jesus advises them to take the lowest seat because the one who takes a higher seat would end up in losing it in shame it is better to be humble and be honored by others what does it mean to be humble in the bible to be humble means to bring oneself low in the bible the adjective humble refers to the socially low poor powerless insignificant vulnerable and the one who looks up to god for deliverance and upliftment example mother mary god saw her lowliness and exalted her and that's what she sang in her magnificat that god exalted the lowly and brought down the proud and the rich the proud in contrast always feel themselves powerful and higher than the others they think that they are the most important people and therefore they look down on others despise them they do not look up to god because they always look up to themselves they have no place for god in their heart because they are full of themselves their pride is manifested in their lust to possess and to dominate they always want others to praise them if not they start to praise to exalt themselves but they will have no place in the kingdom of god my dear people of god the idea of eschatological reversal is very prominent in the gospel of saint luke we saw it on the last sunday the first will be the last the last will be the first and in today's gospel jesus says those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted humility is essential to grow in holiness and to enter kingdom of god the author john climacus uses a metaphor for a life of holiness as a ladder and he says the first step of this ladder is humility jesus in today's gospel mean to say that the way to god is by humility humility always expresses itself in how one views and treats the others god loves and honors the humble and those who befriend the poor the lame and the blind can the wealthy rich powerful be examples of humility of course they can they need to choose to be at this moment my dear people of god i remember the ex president of our country late dr apj abdul kalam 
who was such a great man, a great inspiration for the whole country, yet was so humble and lowly. And his humility led him to move with the poor and the suffering, to understand them, to spend time with them. Let's take the example of the humility of our Lord Jesus Christ, who being the Son of God, emptied himself of of all glory and power and became the servant of the poor and the lowly. His humility is also seen in his hiddenness, his powerlessness, in his self-empty. My dear people of God, we can have intellectual pride, spiritual pride, pride due to our wealth, riches, our beauty, and even because of our talents. But God invites us today to be humble people who can relate to the poor and the lowly, who can be hospitable towards the lowly. Often our tendency is to be hospitable only to our own friends and relatives. Many a times we decide to invite people, only those who can invite us in return, to exchange gifts or give gifts only those who can give us in return because we always expect something once we give. But today, Jesus exhorts the Jewish leaders and all of us to open our table fellowship to all, including the poor and the lowly. He invites us to do good to those who cannot repay it, to do without any expectation. Because a much greater reward is awaiting us if we do that at the resurrection. May God bless each one of you.